Hello, welcome back to Everyday Kelly, or if you're new here, welcome to Everyday Kelly. My name is Kelly. So today I thought it would be fun to talk about my top three cruelty-free makeup brands. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is ELF Cosmetics. So ELF is a really economical brand um, and you can find it pretty much in any drugstore, uh, probably on Amazon. I think Old Navy sells it now too. Um, and so I have been using uh, one of their eyeshadow palettes. Um, this one is called Rosewater. So it's got a rose gold color and this beigey color and more of a, a purpley sparkly color and then a darker purple color and so I'm actually really liking this one for the price point and um, I find that it's actually a really good eyeshadow it's really smooth going on I really don't find that there's much fallout at all um, so that's a really good one from elf and then the other product that I've been using a little bit too is their jelly highlighter. Uh, so I haven't really used highlighter a whole lot. Um, sometimes I will put a little bit on my nose, uh, the tip of my nose and more of the bridge here just to give a little bit more of a highlight color. Um, so it is um, a little bit of a different product uh, because it's kind of got a jelly consistency. And when you're putting it on, you do kind of have to make sure that you blend it immediately or as or else it will dry um, pretty quickly and it will you will have highlights in places that you might not want it um, but so I've been using that one so once again for the price point um, I think elf cosmetics is a really good choice if you're looking for uh, cruelty free makeup products So number two is Essence Cosmetics. I think they are made in Germany. Um, and so once again, total cruelty free. Um, you can probably find it uh, in your local drugstore. Um, I don't know, you might be able to find some of the products on Amazon, I'm not quite sure. Um, so I picked up this nice little palette that I saw at my local drugstore. And so this one is called the Salut Paris. And so they've got different ones um, for different cities. Um, I just really love uh, the, the case that it comes in as well. Um, but and then when you open it up, it's got this nice little mirror. And then all of the colors here, which um, that's the reason why I chose this palette, uh, is because of the colors. It's got this really nice, uh, really light baby pink color, and then more of a rose gold color, and then we're moving on some of the shimmers down here, and then more of the mattes on the top, uh, more neutral colors. Um, and I think I only paid maybe $12.99 or $13.99 for this palette. Um, so that is another really good choice if you're looking for cruelty-free products. And another one that I use is the Essence Lash Princess. So this one is the Volume Mascara. Um, it is okay. Um, I'm not completely blown away by it, uh, but uh, for the price, um, it is a good option. Um, I find that it can get a little bit clumpy if you go right in and try and um, be really aggressive with your lashes. So if you're just kind of gentle with it, I find that it works really well. And last but not least is my favorite cruelty-free makeup brand, Milani Cosmetics. So I have been using Milani for quite some time now. I really love their baked blush. Um, this is their baked blush here. I prefer it. I find it to be much more creamy and it doesn't have the fallout that a... Um, a traditional powder blush and I find it's not sticky like a, a stick blush um, so that one is really good their baked blush and their eyeshadow as well so this one is just a little eyeshadow duo um, and this one is called BFF and it's kind of like a little tan rose gold color and then a little bit of a darker clay color and I have used their eyeshadow for uh, quite some time as well and one of the products that I really love from Milani Cosmetics are their lipsticks. Um, so this one is, is the Color Statement Lipstick in Matte. 
and this one is called matte orchid so it's just like a hot pink color it's the color that I'm wearing now and I find their lipsticks to be really good quality um, they can range depending upon where you're shopping at um, and buying them from they can range anywhere from seven dollars to twelve dollars but um, so I think it's a really good deal I find that the color payoff is really good and I find that it lasts a long time. I can eat, I can drink, and I might only have to touch it up a little bit. So Milani Cosmetics is a little bit more expensive than e.l.f. or Essence, but the quality is really good. And um, they're always coming out with new lines and new products. There are still quite a few products that I would like to try from them because I know that their products are really high quality. So if you are looking to transition or if you are looking for a makeup brand to use that is cruelty free, these three options I think are, are really good options to try. If you're interested in finding out more about cruelty-free brands, um, I will link um, in the description the webpage to um, PETA's website where they have a whole list of cruelty-free uh, brands, not just cosmetics, but all kinds of brands. Um, you can also search to see if the brand that you currently use is certified as cruelty-free. Um, I would just say that I don't always uh, support or like the way that PETA goes about kind of bringing attention to um, cruelty to animals. I understand and I get that they're going for the shock value. For me personally as an animal lover, I think it's a bit too much, um, but this is a really great resource to use. So if you're gonna go there and you are sensitive to any kinds of images of cruelty to animals, which I think a lot of people are, um, and you're going to go to this webpage, I would recommend not clicking on anything else, um, but it is a really great resource. And if you are interested in any of the products that I mentioned, I will try and link them in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos that are similar. And I will see you again next time in another video.